listen to the song I just wrote. We have to use this tonight in our set at the whiskey. I'm Frank Gifford's love child. He pretends I don't exist. But if I ever meet him, I'm gonna kiss him with my fist. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, that is so killer. What key do I play it in? Key. Yeah. <laughs> hey. You almost made me drop my Stratocaster. Oh, I'm really sorry. Um, I just wasn't... What? Thinking. <gasps> oh, did somebody leave their brain at the mall? <laughs> <laughs> it was an accident. And not to assign any blame, but your guitar handle was kind of sticking out. So now it's my fault, huh? You better watch it, Goldilocks. I own a blowtorch, and I know where you live. <laughs> Why would I care if you own a blowtorch? Oh. <laughs> Audrey, um, as a gesture of peace and goodwill, I... Oh, 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 oh. What? You ruined my boots. Do you have a death wish or something? I am so sorry. Um, well, I could either get them cleaned or I could just buy you a new pair. You can't replace them. They once belonged to Jean Simmons. Oh, I don't know her. Her? Try Gene Simmons, rock legend, kiss. <laughs> My father's ex-boyfriend was his makeup guy. These boots were priceless. Audrey, I feel so bad. Not as bad as you're gonna feel. As you touch me again, you're dead. Whore, a wits. <laughs> I felt overcome by a profound sense of... Good! Smack her! Yeah! Body oh, check her! Oh. Unless I could somehow suspend the law of gravity just long enough to get to my car, this latest mishap was not going to result in a funny anecdote someday. Oh! Oh! Lord, her lips are turning blue. Relax, that's just the color of her lipstick. Oh. Lunch? Oh. Oh, I am so sorry. Oh. Well, I guess you're probably a little tired of hearing me apologize, but... Save it! Barbie, meet me at the parking lot, three o'clock. I'm gonna kick your color-coordinated butt. <laughs> So where is she? Maybe she chickened out. What happened to Blondie? Emergency shoe sale come up? <laughs> <laughs> Look, Audrey, if it were up to me, you'd be spitting teeth right now. My girl Cher has too much class for that, so she told me to give you this. <laughs> A note. <laughs> I knew she'd wimp out. Look, Audrey, I know I RSVP to this fight, but I think we should settle this one on one. I'd call you a bitch, but I think that word demeans women everywhere. You say you know where I live? Prove it, bitch. Oh, sorry. That just slipped out. Be at my house in half an hour. Sincerely, Cher Horowitz. Hello, Audrey. I'm not here for hellos. I'm here to wipe this Italian marble floor with you. 
Horowitz. Look, I know you're really working at this I'm badder than Christian Slater in a Wilshire high-rise persona, but I don't get it. What are you so angry at? At you, you little twit. You've been in my face, violating my space all day. I said I was sorry. Why can't you just move on? You wouldn't understand. You have everything you want. Except, of course, guts, you big wuss. <sighs> hey, I considered going to that fight. But I thought it'd be better if we did this one on one. No witnesses. I like it. Oh, but before we start, I have this theory about you. I bet you're just angry because people don't listen to you. Hell no, that's not my problem, Oprah. If I'm tense about anything, it's that I have this great band and no one will listen to our demo. Really? Well, I mean, I could probably help with that. One of Daddy's clients is a major music maven. And who would that be? David Geffen. Oh, good guess. Oh, hello, David. It's Cher. No, 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 don't hang up. Cher Horowitz. Listen, I have this demo by a very cool, very alternative girl band. You will? Well, great. I'll send it over tomorrow. Love you. Tell Steve and I say hi. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. David Gavin, I feel like I've just been crowned this America. I mean, if I was into all that sexist pageant puke. Oh, I hate that. I mean, I think women should be evaluated for who they are and not how well they can duct tape themselves into a swimsuit. You know, you're not like I thought you were. I thought you were this conceited, arrogant, but usually I would use the B word. But you're right. It does demean women everywhere. Can I ask you something? See, I've heard all these rumors about you, and <laughs> did you really get kicked out of school for beating up a nun? Hey, she hit me first. Well, how about the rat burrito? No way. I raised rats. That was a bat burrito. <laughs> <laughs> See, I knew if we just talked, we could become friends. Me not punching you out, that's one thing. Us becoming friends, uh, that's a little too TGIF for my taste. Hey, I just said TGIF and taste. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Cher. If this little talk didn't work, were you really ready to fight me? I was ready to do what I had to do. Cool. I respect that. <sighs> Sometimes all a bully needs is love and understanding. Maybe all they were looking for was just someone to reach out to them and really listen. <laughs> hey, Debbie, you do that again, you're dead meat. And sometimes <laughs> they just need a hard right hook. Memo, major thank you to Lace and a protein gift basket to Nitro. <laughs> 